You guys are pretty sunny disposition people, right? I don't, I don't, like, there's a lot of millennials here. I don't shit on millennials, so you'll be safe to know that, all right? I like millennials. Millennials like regulations. They're good people. Also, I kind of feel bad for them because, you know, they're going to be the first generation that's going to eventually get eaten by robots. <laughs> and, and they know that, you know. Look at them. That's why they're so anxious all the time. Can't focus. Like, it's, it's, it's coming in the near future. Like, let's say, let's say I own a company in the near future and I can hire robots or people. Robots or people. Sell me on people. <laughs> what are people? You gotta pay them, they want vacation, they want dental, their kids want braces, they want dental, they put little Tupper, you know, post-it notes on Tupperware, like, don't eat, this is mine. That's what people are. People sue you if you're the boss and you masturbate on top of them. That, robots don't do that. Robots have never sued somebody for masturbating on top of them. And I know, I look, and I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Sasha, most CEOs do not derive pleasure from masturbating on top of robots, and you're right. It's far more pleasurable to masturbate on top of your employee contemporaries. But, so, you, you know, you're right. You're, you're going to have some jobs in the future, but... Um, just, I don't know. That's what you're going to be doing for money. Tips, probably. Most likely tips. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Vote next time. I, uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna move to Brooklyn to be closer to the millennials. I like them. We'll move to Bushwick. Is anybody here from Bushwick? And does anybody here, ah, oh, one guy. All right, does anybody here know Skip's Cafe in Bushwick? All right, yes, all right, so let me, let me preface this by saying first, because you seem the kind of audience that wants to hear this. Whatever part of the gender spectrum you're on, and whatever part of the gender spectrum you're going to, I fully support you. But Skip's Cafe in Bushwick, as far as gender goes, looks like the cantina from Star Wars. There's just, everybody's going from one direction to another. It's a beautiful thing, man. Like, I, I've been in there, I've, I've heard this sentence. Wow, I wish I had tits like him. And it makes sense. <laughs> It totally makes sense, it's a great thing. And by the way, if you have a conservative relative from out of town, this is the place you take them. It's an education. Skip's Cafe welcomes all of God's children. It's a beautiful thing. And like, I have a friend, who, I have a friend who's, who asked me after hearing this, hey dude, what's the name of that transgender bar you mentioned in your joke? It's not a transgender bar. Right, there's no such thing as a trans, it's not a gay bar. I've been to gay, I know gay bars. I know a lot of gay bars for a straight guy, all right? Like, I like electronic music. I live in New York. It's going to happen, right? I mean, it's, but it's not like that. It's not like a gay bar. There's no such thing as a transgender bar. It's sort of like, all right, like, let's say you go to a cafe, right? And you walk in and you realize that out of the corner of your eye, there's a little person there. Whatever, you don't, you know, whatever. You drink, uh, drink your coffee. Five minutes later, another little person walks in. But they're not connected or anything. They're just, you know. At that point, you go, oh, what are the odds? You know, like you start, you don't think about it much. You go away, you come back a week later, and there's like a third little person there. At that point, you're like, wow, there must be something in Yelp about this, right? Like, this is, but it's not a little person bar. Like, the tables are all the right size, the avocado toast isn't on a Triscuit. You know, like, it's not a little person bar. 